Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we are dissecting the championship top six race, which believe it or not, goes as far down as the bottom half of the table. It is mental this season. I bet loads of you watching, support team in the mix, everyone's dreaming that it could be their team this season, but the reality is only six teams can make it this season. So let's see which six it could be. Just before we talk about the teams, guys, make sure to drop a like, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on the roll to 10 10,000 subscribers soon so make sure to join the channel by hitting the like button and subscribing and let's start with Fulham Football Club. Fulham have been unbelievable this season. I think a lot of us predicted it. Mitrovic, Harry Wilson, Seri, the squad depth is unbelievable and they've already racked up 70 points so we're talking about the top six here. They're not going to make the top six, they're going to make the top two. They're going to finish first but they could fall over the line here, say they win one game in the rest of the season, and it'd probably still be enough for the playoffs. They've done so, so well to get into the position they are now, and we'll see. Can they break some points records this season? Can they break the goal-scoring records this season? They're certainly going the right way about it. Fulham are flying. Next up are AFC Bournemouth, and hats off to them. Four wins in a row at the time of recording this. And yeah, a few weeks ago, this race for the second place was pretty interesting, but Bournemouth have made it really boring for us neutrals now because it looks like they're starting to pull away with it. Fair play to them. Their fans will be delighted. It was a big January transfer window and it looks as if it might have paid off. It's not job done yet, but with those results away at Blackpool and at home to Stoke where they're snatching the games late on, it's a sign of a team that is going in the right direction and no one seems to be keeping up the pace with them. Bournemouth have got some games in hand on the teams below them as well, so... AFC Bournemouth are not going to be caught. I think they're going to be in second place this year. Next up are Huddersfield Town and hats off to them. They are, at the moment, the biggest surprise of the season. We've had a few teams surprise us. Coventry's good start. We were the talking point. And then Blackburn were up there. They were the talking point. And now Huddersfield in third place is unbelievable. And I'm getting tired of the conversation that Huddersfield have played more games because even I was using that argument. But if they keep winning or just keep not losing then they really won't be caught because they're 17 games unbeaten. They've arguably got the best keeper in Lee Nichols, who's been unbelievable. Don't get me wrong, there's other good keepers in the championship, but his stats for this season are mental. And everything's clicking for Huddersfield. The squad, the fans have come together, and it's a real jump compared to last season, what they were doing down the bottom end of the table. So fair play to Huddersfield. I think they're going to be in the top six. Be interesting to see if they can bounce back to the Premier League. Next up, Blackburn Rovers, who are just about hanging on in there in fourth place now I was a little bit worried about them up until that QPR win but that result against QPR has got to be a defining moment for Blackburn Rovers it's got to be a turning point for their form they need to get over the line because it is a massive missed opportunity if Blackburn don't finish in the top six this season and you worry that if they don't is it the best chance they'll have in the next few years of making the top six? Possibly not. Maybe they'll be strong again next year if they don't make it. But ultimately, it's a very good opportunity Blackburn are in right now. There's a lot of form teams in the table, but Blackburn pride themselves on that home form. The second best home form in the league, by the way. I know they haven't got Ben Brereton Diaz at the moment, but Kadra... But play. they've got some good players in that squad. I think Blackburn could just get over the line. They need to keep winning games though. Next up, Queen's Park Rangers, a team I predicted to be in the top six at the start of the season. And they're currently fifth. This is getting tricky now. There's a few teams sneaking up on them. I just wonder if QPR can just stay in there till the games run out. They're not being awful, but they're just slightly not keeping the pace anymore. Away from home, it's not so good. It's three defeats in a row in their last three away games. At home, they're still churning in the points. They just need to get that final last burst over the line. Just a little scuttle forwards, like back-to-back -back wins at some point in this sort of next five games. Just something to push them on, because like I say, if QPR keep being win, loss, win, loss, draw, kind of mid-table form, then obviously they would just slip out. It'd be painful for QPR to slip out because most of the season they've been worthy of being in the top six. Chair, Willock, Austin, Adoma. I mean, they've had so many goals coming from everywhere. Some real key players playing some good stuff for QPR. I think they could just hold on in there, but it could be tight now. Next up, Luton Town. They have been a revelation, haven't they? Luton Town have been fantastic this season. The form they've been on... This is getting really hard because everyone's been good, but not everyone can make it. And Luton Town have been class at home recently. They've been putting some good wins together, really consistent. The manager, the passion he gives off, 
it's just enough alone, isn't it, the manager to get them in the top six. But the players as well, they're doing very well. Not always the most interesting. They just grind out wins sometimes, and that might be the most efficient way. Winning 1-0, winning 2-1. You know, they're not thumping so many teams. They're just getting those three points in. Three points is more important than goal difference at the end of the day. But Luton Town, the only thing that could go against them is if this is the peak. If this is as good as it gets for them, and then it slips away. I don't know if that's going to happen. You know, they could just keep this good run going. I mean, they could finish fourth or fifth or even third, but... God, it's so tight right now. Next up, Sheffield United. And believe it or not, Sheffield United lost a game at the weekend. Uh, we can forgive them for that because they have been brilliant recently. And they were up against Inform Millwall. But Sheffield United, that defeat has dropped them out of the top six. That's how unforgiving this top six race is. Sheffield United's poor start to the season. If anything, it could be what costs them if they don't make it. If they don't make it now, that's what they look back on and say, that's why we didn't make it. And... Um, I suppose the the reality is if they don't make it, they could say, well, at least next season they could give Heckingbottom the full season. But I think Sheffield United could do it still. They've got a game in hand on a couple of teams, two games in hand on Huddersfield. Like I say, these games in hand are going to be really crucial, but everyone's got to play everyone. So some points will be dropped. Sheffield United need to keep the consistency going. Next up, Middlesbrough, the third best home team in the league. How mad is that? Away from home recently, it's not been as good with the defeats of Barnsley, the defeat of Bristol City. But I like the manager. So many good managers at the top here. Chris Wilder's done fantastic for Middlesbrough. It's another team that, if they don't make it, they'll be really frustrated that they haven't had Chris Wilder for the full season. But ultimately, as a club, Middlesbrough are going in the right direction. Next up, Nottingham Forest. They've scored the most goals out of any team not in the top six. So that's an interesting stat. And another brilliant manager. All three of these clubs, Sheffield United, Middlesbrough and Forest, have had managers come in at some point because of a poor start. And once again, that could be what costs Forest because this race is so good. Um, but I still have an eye on Forest. They're on an FA Cup run at the moment, which either brings more positivity, energy and focus to the club, or it could be what costs them. I suppose we'll wait and see. But Forest, this is a very good season nonetheless. Even if they finish 7th or 8th, which is very frustrating, that it's a very good season for Forest. But yeah, just need to go on a good run with two, three wins in a row and they could really break in there. They've got big games against other teams in the mix very soon. Next up, the mighty Coventry City who are still hanging on in there. Been an interesting season for Coventry City. Um, the start to the season was brilliant. A lot of these teams have had poor starts to the season where Coventry had a good start to the season and they've come up and we've kind of gone down a bit. But the thing with Coventry is, I don't know if we've just had our bad run, we've got the bad games out of our system and we're starting to go on a bit of a good run again. Um, some big wins recently. The late goals are so crucial. Late Late goal against Preston, late goal against Bristol City, late goal against Barnsley. They are a key to something, honestly. It shows how good the mentality is. Mark Robbins, Aidy Vibash are really coaching this squad well because on paper, I'll admit, it's not the best starting eleven in that top 12, is it? You know, it's, it, it isn't. I think Coventry fans will agree with that. But what they do as playing as a team and playing to each other's strengths could be what makes Coventry City the Barnsley of last season. Coventry just... Just need to just need to be a bit more consistent. There's a couple of games in there recently, like Cardiff and Blackpool, where points were dropped, and you think, oh, if we could have just got maximum points there, but Coventry City are still hanging on in there. I'd like to see Tavares become more of a feature towards the end of the season. I'd certainly like to see what happens to Godden when he's back, because he's one of the strongest performing players in the Championship with the minutes he gets. And Jokeres, if he can keep firing with Hamer and Sheaf and O'Hare behind him, Coventry are playing some good stuff. It could be a very special season for the Sky Blues. Next up, Millwall, who are coming at everyone like a train. Four wins in a row from the last four games. They are top of the league. Millwall are flying towards the rest of us. And, God, it's just such a mess. The traffic is unreal. And, uh, yeah, Millwall need to keep this good run going. I mean, four wins in a row, and they're still not broken into that sort of top ten. That goes to show how good the race is at the top. But say this run goes to six wins in a row, seven wins in a row, then they'll start breaking into the top eight and the top six. It'll be interesting to see if Millwall can do it this year. Next up, Preston North End. Seven points off the playoffs. Have played a couple more games than a few teams. So we're starting to get into the teams where it's possible, but not massively likely. But Preston have been pretty good at times this year. I think I saw it when they played Coventry. They're physical. They play to their strengths, certainly. But, um, hmm, I don't know. Like I say, there's a lot of traffic. So, Preston might be one of those teams that miss out. But, 
And who knows? The championship's so unpredictable. Preston just go on a good run and they could make it. They've got big games coming against other top six chasing teams. Who'd have thought West Bromwich Albion would be a bottom half team? They were a bit like Coventry in terms of a good start to the season. And even till after Christmas, we're hanging in there in that sort of top four. And they've fallen away. Everyone else has been so good, while West Brom have been utter garbage. And I feel for them West Brom fans. Steve Bruce has come in and he's not helped. You could even say it was better under Val. It's a joke for West Brom. They're a big club. They are a big, big club. And they're falling away. I don't see how they're going to make it. They've got the players to make it. They've got one of the best squads. You know, some real good potential there. But not playing well at all. And I can't see how West Brom are actually going to make it. The last team we'll mention are Blackpool FC. This is probably the last team I'd say that probably has a chance. But even at this point, it's quite unlikely. Nine points off the playoffs. But Blackpool have shown that anything is possible in the championship this year. One of the best newly promoted teams in years, honestly. To come up from League One and do what they've done is unbelievable. Critchley's done brilliant. The squad are brilliant. Bowler, he's a good player. He's a really good player. And Blackpool, their fans are behind them. It's a real good thing to see at Blackpool. You know, the way they've reversed the negativity that was at the club. I mean, remember, these were a League Two club not that long ago. So it's really good to see Blackpool back where they should be fighting in the championship. So then, guys, that wraps up today's video. Let me know what you think down below. There's so many teams. I've listed 14 teams. And I really don't know if I could pick a top six out of them. Let me know your thoughts down below. It is chock-a-block in the championship. Everyone is queuing up trying to get into that top six. So let me know what you think. Drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.